Okay, so here's a quick peek after two weeks. I'll take a few of the rocks out. The third slurry is getting thick, but it's not horrible. Okay, we'll take a look at these. Well, here we go. There's the big one. It still has more time required to get rid of these cracks and crevices. So let's put it back in. That one, yeah, again, just a little, little part that needs some smoothing out. Starting to look all right. The other thing is, if you put your hand in the slurry and you feel it, if it's not gritty, then the coarse tumbling grit has worn itself down. So what I want to do is recharge it with some more grit. And clean up the outside of the tumbler. Clean up my top. And then run it for another week, possibly two. Now the reason to clean the top of the barrel is actually very simple. You don't want grit to be between the rubber seal and the barrel itself. Otherwise, it'll leak. There we go. So here's my rocks out of step one coarse grind. If you don't like the way the rocks look when they come out, in other words, you want them rounder, then they need to be run again. Is At this stage, when the rock is dry, it's not really polished. So there's a number of minor scratches on it, and it needs to, it needs to go through the other steps. Let's, let's pour some water on it. show you the difference. See how it looks like it's wet? <laughs> At this point in time, what you really need to do with these rocks is make sure that they're as clean as you can get them. And your inside of your barrel is clean, so you're not transporting coarse grit into the next round, because that will continue to scratch these rocks. Now, what I did want to point out is a rock like this which was my experiment. <laughs> it ha still has sharp edges. It didn't grind down this piece. I think the rock was too big for my tumbler. I'm going to take that out. Also for this step, because I am in an unheated shed for my rock tumbler, I'm worried about freezing. So rather than use water, I'm actually going to use windshield washer fluid for the car. You can see it's good to minus 40. <laughs> it's going down right now to minus 20 at night. One last point. As you can see, I'm just under half full of rock now that these ones have ground down. So what I have to consider is adding filler. So I'm going to put ceramic bead in until it is above half. Well been nine days in the medium grit and it's time to have a peek. Let's see what these rocks look like. There's what my slurry looks like. Sure seems that it's gotten thick. There's my stones. Yeah, they're nice and smooth. I'll wash them up and show them to you, and then we'll move on to the next round. Okay, so something to point out. You see with these rocks when they're dry, really need more polishing. There, there is wet in that side. Wet, they look way better. Dry, they really don't look like much. Yet yet. The other thing to see here is I do need a little more filler because I'm not quite halfway. 
to add some more ceramic bead. Now here is the next stage of polish. You can see it's got the consistency of maybe flour and it is called pre-polish or fine tumbling polish. Effectively what it is is 500 grit silicon carbide. Put enough in. I do usually one heaping scoop per pound of rock or thereabouts. You can't do too much <laughs> but of course it costs money. So I think we're good to go and we'll see you in a week. All right pre-polish which was step three is done. We're going to go into polish. Let's look at the rocks. It is fairly thick. Let's dump them out, rinse them off, and take a look. Well, let's get them all nice and clean and into the next round. When you go into polish, there can't be any grit from previous stages. So your rocks have to be spick and span. Even at this stage, when these rocks are dry, they're not shiny. They, the next step, polishing, is really required. So here's my secret sauce for polishing. Regular white table sugar. And what this does is it helps make the slurry thicker so the rocks don't bang on each other. It also helps the polish stick to the rocks. So they just polish more effectively. No secret on the amount. Sugar is cheap. Alumina tumbler polish. You normally go with about a teaspoon for every pound of rock. There we go. This is just baking soda, but the baking soda will make a thicker slurry and by its own right is also a polish. That's, again, no real magic formula for how much you put in. And then lastly, what I have is some tumbler pellets. They will add some cushioning to the rocks and help fill up my tumbler just a little bit more so I get it up to at least half full. I think I'm good. I'll add my fluid to it and we'll get this thing tumbling. 